risk assessment this is how we can identify the risk of the hazardous material now there are two approaches for risk assessment first one is the qualitative approach in which no calculation is required and the second approach is quantitative where calculations are required so quantitative approach is more specific uh, for using it in any field of life whether it is medical food or uh, agricultural industry now the quantitative approach of risk assessment is based on two components the first is the magnitude of the potential loss and the second one is the probability or the chance that the loss will occur so these are the two important components or the pillars of the quantitative approach for risk assessment now we can assess the risk in different fields usually it is used in medical or hospital services risk assessment bahut purana military industries mein use ho raha hai oil industry mein even in nuclear and aerospace industries aajkal food industry mein bhi risk assessment uh, different methodologies ke zariye ki ja rahi hai so there are different methods for assessing the risk and we can utilize them depending upon the field in which we are involved to uh, determine the risk now for example food and drug administration regulates the food safety through risk assessment 1973 में पता चला कि बहुत सारे कंपोनेंट्स ऐसे हैं जो कि कैंसर कॉज कर सकते हैं जैसे कि कलर फूड में इसके अलावा बहुत सारे कंपोनेंट्स मीट में ऐसे हैं जो कि कैंसर कॉज कर सकते हैं 1973 में एफ ने कहा कि इन सारे मटेरियल्स जो कि कैंसरस हैं इनकी क्वांटिटी इतनी कम कर दी जाए कि ये कैंसर कॉज ना कर सकें इसके अलावा देर इज यू एस ए इन्वायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एजेंसी दैट असेस द इन्वायरमेंट रिस्क थ्रू दिस रिस्क असेसमेंट मेथडोलॉजी फॉर पब्लिक हेल्थ सेफ्टी then stockholm convention this is also a risk framework assessment for chemicals that how much they are dangerous for the lab workers for the public as well now risk assessment is not only used for different vast fields we can even uh, detect the risk uh, assessment for small sub populations for example if the risk assessment is high in small sub population it means that they are abnormally exposed to a particular product iske ilawa risk assessment hum sub population mein tab bhi istemal kar sakte hain jab risk ke chances less than 1% ho but for that we uh, use two components for measuring the risk less than 1% in small sub population first one all infants younger than x days and the second component is the recreational user of a particular product 